Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to fix some dents in the hood of the Jeep using the Harbor Freight uh, crossbar dent puller kit. So let's jump into this. You can see if these dents show up in the camera. I'm sure they they will. And I just the, the blue tape is just there just so I can help eyeball them a little bit closer. But you can see them right here, and right here. So we're going to try to pull those out. Okay, so here's the kit that I picked up from Harbor Freight for $15.95. And here's the contents that comes in it. You got your uh, glue gun, uh, three glue sticks. These are your um, attachment pieces that you'll actually glue to the uh, body panels. This is like a massaging dial to help, I think, push or pop out dents from behind or even from the top side. And you got your crossbar piece, a little scraper for the glue, and a release agent for the glue. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna start probably on this little small one here. There's like one there, and then we're going to work our way into these bigger ones and see if we can't make that look at least, hopefully, 50% better. Or... Okay, so after we're giving the glue gun and the glue stick about five plus minutes to heat up, we're going to take, we're going to use a small piece on this small dent. But what we want to do is we want to cover this completely. You want to fill in those little holes. We want the glue to ooze out of these little holes on this little foot pad just to give it a good bond. So don't be afraid to use a little bit of or a liberal amount of this uh, glue. Once we've done that, we're going to stick it onto our dent. And I'm gonna press and hold for just about five to 10 seconds. And now we're gonna let that sit. I'm gonna give it at least three to five minutes to let that glue cool and stick and bond. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is get our crossbar. And I'm gonna leave these loose so we're gonna lay this on here and I want these feet to kind of find their their own footing there is a little ball socket on each one of these but I kind of want this to find its own footing and then we'll snug these up now we're going to take this other knob and we're going to thread this on and this is how we pull the it's gonna be how we pull the dent out now we're just going to turn this we're going to try to watch this area and see how much lift we get because we don't want to pull the dent too far out. Oh, and it already broke, <clears throat> already broke loose. We're going to try that one more time. I think what happened either I didn't have the glue quite hot enough or the surface clean good enough. I've been using a little bit of contact cleaner to clean this, but I have probably a couple coats of ceramic and other stuff on there that we need to get off. So we're going to try this one more time. I cleaned the surface again, so Hopefully that'll get it. I'm gonna push this right down in the middle of that. Press and hold for a second, then release. Let that set up. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. Uh, Reclean the surface. I'm gonna put the little bridge on here, leave these a little loose. Let the feet try to find their little where they wanna sit. Snug them up. And we're gonna try this one more time. I have a feeling I may end up having to clean this area some more just because of the ceramic coats but let's just turn this knob yeah I'm gonna have to do a better prep job I'm not getting anywhere okay some additional cleaning we're gonna try this another time glue is super hot at this point been 10 15 minutes so we're gonna get a good liberal mount of glue on there push that right in the center press and hold for just a couple seconds release and then we're gonna let that sit and dry I'm gonna give it probably about three to five minutes okay so we're gonna try this again we're gonna put a little bridge up here kind of leave it loose let these feet try to find their little happy spot let's gently snug that up I am just not getting a good bond at all with the glue. Okay, let's do this. Put the bridge on. Gently snug these up. Hopefully we can make something happen this time. If not, I'm just, I'm about fed up with this. It's 90 plus degrees today, high humidity. And I 
can see it actually pulling the hood up. We just got to get enough pull. I can't get it to stick. I'm done with this shit. Okay, guys, I'm going to spare you any more uh, video clips of me trying to pull those dents out with this puller. Hey, but just to let you know, I worked on this for about another hour or more offline, uh, cleaning that area a little bit more, and I started to get a little bit better bond uh, with the glue sticks, and I think I made a little bit of improvement, so let's take a look. It'd be hard to see. The sun's kind of hitting that paint pretty good, but you can see that the, I think they popped up a little bit. Um, they're not perfect, obviously. Okay, so takeaway from this is, yes, the little um, kit works that I picked up from Harbor Freight. Uh, one thing I think that uh, would be a good investment is spend about 20 bucks and get some glue sticks that are made for this. There's actually some glue sticks. You can find them online. You can get a pack of them for about 20 bucks. They're the automotive style, industrial style uh, glue sticks designed for professional use uh, guys that are actually pulling dents out of uh, vehicles at body shops, car dealerships. So all in all, I would spend the 16 bucks uh, for the Harbor Freight tool get 20 bucks worth of those glue sticks because the glue sticks that come with this kit are basically just arts and craft uh, glue sticks I had a hard time getting a good bond with those it got a little better the more I cleaned the surface I think that ceramic coat on there I had was just fighting me a little bit but overall pretty happy with the little kit it works I'm gonna get some better glue sticks and uh, I'll keep it around in the garage and use it for any little minor dents that may pop up in some of the other vehicles so those dents in the hood are underneath the cross member piece. So when I go to cut out the uh, section to put in my hood louver kit, I'm just going to work those little dents out from the underside. I'm just going to cut a little square out of that cross member and massage those dents out from the uh, bottom side. But hey, um, share the video, leave a comment below. I'd like to hear your experiences with this little tool kit and how the glue sticks work for you. And thanks for watching.